want a reaction. The reaction is death. Now I pick a side of which I'm going to go to. I got a limb. So I could use that limb to put on a lock, a hole, or a break. So once I'm attacking, I pull it down. I strike to distract him. I got the limb. I strike to distract him. I do something else to interrupt his balance. And now I got a limb. Now I could put on a break. Dad, pay attention. Press the day, we got another video for you today, guys. Now, this is an offensive video. Watch this. Now, the name of the video is punching into a lock. So we do a drill where we strike four times and then the man covers his face. Why? Because if you have someone in front of you and you use the element of surprise and you start to attack them, they're going to either first self-preservation. They're going to try to stop you from hurting them first and then they're going to try to counter. But they're not going to try to counter while you're attacking them. Why? Because of the element of surprise. The mind says, protect yourself. Now, it goes into this, into just protecting yourself. Because why? I'm going to slow it up. Because you're striking, and while you're striking, he wants to protect himself from being hurt. So he can now try to counter, just like they do in boxing. When a, a, a professional, or boxing, you see it. When the guy gets the guy against the rubber, he's relentless, trying to strike and punch and throw his blows. You see the guy doing all of this, this. He's not trying to throw blows most of the time at the same time until he sees an opening. And you have to be very sharp to see the opening when the guy is on a relentless assault coming at you. Most people are not trained to see an opening. The way the mind works, the mind says, protect yourself first, then go into some kind of counter. So we practice this drill, we call it four, and left, right, left, right, left, right. So we go one, two, three, four, he covers up, now we pick a side. Are we gonna go to the right side or are we gonna go to the left side? We pick a side. Why do we do that? Because, take off the mitts, Kenny. We, this is why this video is called punching into a lock. Right now, I can't do no lock on him. What is jujitsu? Locks, holes, breaks, and chokes. Okay? It's locks, holes, breaks, and chokes. So now, can I, we're like this. Can I lock you? Can I break anything? Can I choke you? We're not even touching each other. But at some point, either he's going to go first or I'm going to go first. And you know we practice self-offense, not self-defense. So I'm going to get him to go into a self-defense mode. If he attacks me and just comes at me, I go into a self-defense mode before I click and go into a self-offense mode. So now we are going to use the element of surprise, which is one of the Ten Commandments of self-defense. We're going to use another concept from the Ten Commandments of self-defense, which is I can move faster forward, then he can move backwards, right? And at the same time, we're using another principle of the Ten Commandments of self-defense, striking from the closest point. So how does that look like? What does that look like? So we're talking and we're doing this. And, we're just, it is, and I know I'm saying, yo, calm down. I'm sorry. The guy's telling no, me, man, no, no, he don't no, want to no, hear me. Here, so go, now bro. when he's saying that to me, now I'm just going to start attacking. His hands go up. When his hands go up, now I have an opportunity to put on a lock, a hole, a break, or a choke. Because now he's protecting himself either this way or outwards like how Kenny got his hand. Once I see him play, don't stop trying to stop my hand, I don't continue doing this. This is a waste of time. I want a reaction. The reaction is that. Now I pick a side of which I'm going to go to. I got a limb, so I could use that limb to put on a lock, a hole, or a break. So, once I'm attacking, I pull it down, I strike to distract him, I got the limb, I strike to distract him, I do something else to interrupt his balance, 
and now I got a limp. Now I could put on a brake because I got a limp. Hey guys, Professor David here. There's a brand new way for you to contact us, guys. All you gotta do is call 718-252-8944 and leave a message. Don't forget, we have our coaching, we have our online weekly training, we have seminars, we're available for that. You have a university where there's 2,000 techniques in there. Now let's get back to the video. So now, let's say he does one of these numbers, a boxing number. So I'm attacking him and he does one of those numbers. So now I teach my people, when a guy do this, you got choice to go left, right, go to this side, go to the opposite side, or shove it into his face, kick him in the groin. Now look, now I got a finger lock. I didn't have it before, but after I did this, in his face, boom, in his groin, boom, I could pull out an arm, bam, now I got another arm bar, now I got another wrist lock, now I can pivot it down into another lock. I earned the right to get a lock hole, a break on, and now a choke because I've earned that right. Why? Because he put his hands up. I had nothing before. So once again, I attack him, his hands go up. Now from here, anytime somebody put their hands up like boxers start like putting their gloves against their head, smack it into their face. So grab both their wrists, bam, the groin is open, the knees are open, slow motion. If I did this to, and this hit his face, and I blew out that kneecap, it's automatic that this is there. It's, this is there. So now I could just step in and come into this and sweep that leg out. Or from here, I could go into the Superman, change his focus so he don't try to grapple my leg. Here, shocking the groin again. I'm in the Superman, arm bar. Then I got the eyes. Then I turn it around, and I'm back into my choke again. A here. Hey guys, I just want to let you know, I got people contacting me all the time for mindset training, personal development training, one-on-one -on -one coaching, so you can contact me if you need to. Now let's get back to the video. But I got to get a limb. I don't want to continue trying to do this nonsense. See? Kenny blocks with his hands out like that. So now, while I'm doing this and I see him got the hands out, now I, I gotta grab a hand. Grab the hand. Don't, you gotta stop getting caught up in punching. Yep. You see the hands up, grab the hand. Grab a hand, grab both hands. Then, work low. What is he gonna do? He can't punch you when you grab the hand. As soon as your hands make contact, with the hand, use your feet. As soon as your hands make contact with the hand, use your feet. As soon as your hands make contact with the hand, use your feet. Your legs are longer than his arms. As soon as your hands make contact, turn. Shift foot to the side. Grab an arm and drop your whole body on that arm. Guys, we need you to subscribe. 70% of you are not subscribed yet. Do it. That's how you earn the right to do that. But you go from striking, you go from punching into a lock. You go from striking into, boom, a lock. Whack, got it. Striking into a lock. Don't get emotional and get caught up with trying to be Mike Tyson or uppercut. Ooh. Don't get caught up in that. Just, just, we were looking. Guys, we were looking at, it's, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the Indian slap game. Well, yes. Yeah, the right. original. Where it started. Where, how it started. You guys see the slap right. thing now. We did videos where the guys are standing there slapping. Mm -hmm. And what's the guy named who's doing the slapping thing anyway? You Dana, know, Dana White, Dana White guy, right? Mm -hmm. So he's doing the slap contest now. Mm -hmm. But that's, did it start here? If you go see these Indian yeah, guys, guys doing these, dirt, dirt these, fields, these right. guys are in a dirt field, people watching moving, them going they, like this, moving. going like this, and, and they're just <laughs> slapping, slapping, and the guys slapping like, they're, they're just, just doing just that. Moving around, yep. 
And you'll be surprised. But the hands are flaring. So they, yep, they, 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 both guys' hands are flaring. Right. So you got to understand that when you when you hear and you start doing this to somebody, the hands are going to go up. Right. The guy's not going to just let you do this. Hammer fist him in the face and punch him. And, no, self-preservation, guys. Number one, self-preservation. You do it even if you don't want to do it. It's called self-preservation. That's why you procrastinate in doing things. That's why you always say to yourself, I want to do this, but you don't do it. Because something in your mind is telling you, nah, save yourself the pain. Nah, something's wrong. So it becomes that kind of a thing. Self-preservation always kicks in. It's in each and every person, every human being, without you telling them nothing, without saying a word to them, have self-preservation built into them. They're not going to let anything or anyone hurt them if they know or feel that it's coming. So guys, take this information. Work on it. The techniques are your techniques. But you got to get good at setting the guy up so you could apply the things that you practice. You'll never get an opportunity to do any locks, hold, breaks, or chokes if you don't know the setup. Guys, in our system, we have a saying. We say that you gotta earn the right to get jujitsu. You gotta earn the right to do your jujitsu. And that's what this is all about, guys. Make sure you drop us a comment, guys. Tell us what you thought about this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. We wanna give you more content. We wanna bring more value to you. So make sure that you share this video with as many people as you know. Thank you very much, guys. Peace.